Hi guys, so welcome back to our page. If you are following along, this is the litter that I originally started with putting the nest boxes in. They are now seven to eight weeks old. I am going to go ahead and move them over to another cage to start the weaning process. Now, rabbits are able to be weaned at five weeks old. That is when their digestive system is ready to handle feed. You'll notice at that point, mom is kind of not nursing as much. They are eating feed out of the feeders, but I like to wait longer just to be sure that there's no issues with switching them over. What the hell's wrong with these things? I don't handle them, so they're a little Yeah, a little you should out. probably, all right. And I wanted to give a quick demo on sexing. Now at this age, I generally don't sex them unless I want to separate them, um, but I'm not gonna bother with it. What you're looking for, you wanna pull their tail back, flip them over, pull, hold their tail back, and then you wanna press right here above. Ew. Okay, see, we have a taco. That's a girl. A taco? A taco. Girls have tacos. Boys have burritos. All I want right? to see a burrito. So this is a little girl. I'll show you. A burrito, if I find a burrito. Again, I usually don't separate unless I am looking to hold a dough back. Um, and I do plan on doing that with this litter eventually. But right now, I only have one cage system or one cage set up. If you notice from our earlier videos, we have changed our setups. And I have three more grow out cages that I need to get home. Calm down, buddy. Yeah, he's like freaking right, let's out. Let's see what we have. A here. taco or burrito? Taco or burrito. Let's go. Whoop, that's a burrito. Oh, it came out. Yeah, see how it pokes out? Yeah, the other one was a V, and this is a. Yeah, this is a burrito. This is like a zucchini a without skin on it. <laughs> Disgusting. So, um, I usually don't. If I'm trying to separate because I want to save either sex at this point. Don't I mind the chainsaw, Sean. Just yeah. keep it going. Um, <laughs> I will separate by sexes. And I'll check the sexes a couple of times because a lot of times, like, it's really hard to tell at that age if it's a taco or a burrito. So sex change fairy happens. Um, I'm only going to pull a couple of these out. There are one or two small guys in there. Um, let's see what this one is. Okay, see? that's a burrito. That could go either way. It's kind of taco-ish, though. It's coming up to a point. Because it comes to a point? Yeah. Well, the other one was a cylinder. Yeah, see how it's a slit instead of a cylinder? Okay, so you can go either way, you this think? This could go either way. You never know. So, um... Like one of those weightlifter women. I probably so, shouldn't say that. A few, no, you should not say that. Um, a few things about feed. Now, I am switching everybody over. This is my first time using a 15% protein feed. Usually, I would use a 16%, um, but I found my rabbits kept getting fat. A lot of people will suggest using an 18%. Hold on one minute. Can I give them a piece of hay from there? Sure. To distract them when they're sure. <laughs> a lot of people will do an 18% protein feed for their lactating or their nursing does um, and their babies. I found that mine just got really fat. They didn't really grow any faster. They just got fat. Um, which for me, since I render that fat down and make soap, isn't a huge issue. But I don't want my does and my bucks to get overweight. Almost <laughs> dropped that. Goodness. You guys are tricky. Right, what do we got? Wait, I'm going to tell you which one it is. Hold on, Peach. Hold on, baby. Okay. Grab that too. Totally a taco. Totally a taco. See, they're, she's like fighting me. Taco. Taco. Yeah. So, um, do you find a balance? Like, is there a 50 50 balance amongst these? Because um, some animals end up with more females than males in litters. You know. There's really you don't no, sex them enough, do you? I don't sex them enough for one, and there's really no way to tell. There is like a following that will breed by the moon cycles, and they find that, I don't know if it's a full moon or a new moon, one of them will create more males and more females. I don't follow that. I breed when the timing is right for it me. It sounds like Sean's ratcheting a tree over there. It does. Right? This is good. I'm just waiting to hear, ah, my legs, I can't feel my legs. All right, how many more are you sexing? Because I'm just doing this one. I've got a pig on I'm the barbecue. Doing this one. A okay, whole pig. So I'm also, guessing so uh, going I back, say burrito. Going back to the feed, this is my first time on a 15% protein feed. I will now, since I have weaned the babies, I will probably bump them up to an 18% protein feed. But I just found all of my does and my bucks. Everybody just got really fat. So since they've been on a 15 and they do seem a little small to me, I will probably bump them up to the 18. Taco. Taco. So there's, I'm not going to bother sexing those two because those two are a little small. I did have one runt in this litter. Those two are a little small, so I'm going to go ahead and leave them in there. Um, 
a lot of times you'll notice when you are weaning that you will end up with a couple small ones because there's so many in there and they just fight for feed. So, yeah, they definitely grow faster. The point of the, the pulling them out, because you didn't say that. The point of pulling them out is because literally they need the room. Yeah, they do. Because they, they, grew, they grew slow when you didn't separate them. Well, they grow I, faster when you separate actually, them. You'll get more of a burst of of growth when you wean them at a later age. If you can wait till about seven to eight weeks, if you have the cage space, like a nice small litter, they'll grow a little bit faster because not only are they eating their feed, but they're also drink, still nursing from mom. So mm. they'll get more. I actually had slower growth when I weaned at the five week cutoff. Really? Yeah. I thought you went yeah. faster Which is when, when you weaned At five weaned weeks early. is when their digestive system is ready to handle pellet food. But like I said, I like to wait. So I wasn't meaning just weaning. I'm talking about instead of having 20 in a cage and when they were competing with food, you know, having five in the cage. It was usually they weren't, they weren't competing is why they grew faster. And another issue, another thing with the feeding, a lot of like the bags and, of feed and a lot of people will tell you to keep the feeders full. I found that I get better growth when I don't do that. I let them run out of feed because if feed is constantly sitting in there, they're just like, eh, I always have it. Versus if you let them run out, as soon as you put it in there, everybody will run over and they'll gobble it up and they'll eat it all. And you can almost feed twice as much when they do that because they run out and they know they're going to run out. So when you feed it, feed them, they're like, hey, there's finally food there. I'm going to go eat and gorge myself right now. And then they grow a little bit faster. But all right. So thanks for watching. Um, you didn't thank me for filming. Thank you, Mark, for filming. That's what I do. I film stuff and <laughs> I know things. You don't know things. What are you doing, kid? But thanks for following along. My next video series will probably be after the rabbit's cages get hung. And then I will do another sexing video where I will divide them. And then, um, I don't know. I'll, I'll see what I come up with from, from here on out. Recipes. Recipes, yes. Did you ever do the full we, Brian video from start to finish? I haven't. No, stay tuned for a Brian recipe. Because that's do what have everybody a Brian wants. Pack available on our website, omnivoresquivers.com. And I am trying to do a bunch of recipes and things like that. I have a spice mix that I make a lot. Um, we are, are you going to be putting your, your hog film, the one that you just did for the barbecuing on YouTube? You should. Whatever you want. I don't know. All right, I got to go cook. Look in these corners. I'll probably look put some that like, way. There's a pig on the fire pit over there. Look on one of these corners. I'll probably post some sort of link either to our brine. I haven't filmed the brine video yet as of posting this, but in the next couple of weeks when I butcher, I will be doing that. So if you have any videos that you want to see or any information that you need that these videos are lacking, go ahead and comment and I will either comment back or I will film another video. But thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that way you know when I'm posting these videos. Thanks for watching.